once we're into PowerShell Empire, the first thing we want to do is we're going to create a listener. I'll type help and you can kind of see what we've got here. And we're going to use uh, use listener command. We're going to configure this and then execute it. And when I do use listener and I hit tab, you can see the different types of listeners that we have here. Where are we going to listen? How's this going to work? And in this case, I'll just use H TTP. Pretty simple. Now we need to configure it. And if we type options, of course, it doesn't know options. So I'll type help again. Um, I'll use the tab to figure out what it is I'd like to configure here. Set. And if I hit tab twice, you can see these are the different options that we have available to us. If I type info, we can see what, I just typed the word info, we can see what those things are set to. Our bind IP, it'll bind to any IP address here. We can see that the uh, address of this machine is um, 192.168.14.86. I'm pretty sure the name right now is HTTP, that's going to be important. Uh, we've got some other things here that we can configure. I think the big one is we just need to set the port. So I'm going to go ahead and do a set port 80. And uh, we'll see if it complains at us here. I'll go ahead and type execute. And it's told me that the listener has successfully started. So I'm going to drop back to that first window that we are that first, excuse me, command line uh, level below listeners HTTP. I'm just going to type listeners and that's going to take us back to this listeners level. And at this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and type use stager. And if I hit tab twice, we can see the different stagers that we have available. I'm interested again, I'm new to PowerShell Empire myself, uh, interested in looking into these and exactly what they're doing. I'm, I'm interested in what's happening under the hood right now. This is just sort of an overview of how to use the tool, right? Uh, so use stager and we're going to do windows slash uh, DLL. Now I've typed the word uh, info here for our stager so we can see that we have um, a listener. We need to tell it what listener we're gonna have this, this DLL is gonna like connect back to. And the name of our listener was HTTP. So I'm gonna do uh, set listener HTTP. The Windows 7 that I have installed uh, is uh, x64 architecture, so that's gonna be fine. Uh, the stager retries, we're going to set that number. I'll just go ahead and set that to stager retries 10. And again, I can now type execute. Hopefully this will work. And it's going to tell me that we have written a launcher to the temp directory launcher.dll. Well, we're going to need to transfer this to a Windows 7 machine. So I'm going to leave Empire running here in a terminal. And I'll go ahead and open up a new terminal. And I'll move to that temp directory to make things a little easier. I'll go mkdir um, web. And I'll copy that launcher.dll to the web folder. And for me, the easiest way to transfer things from point A to point B sometimes is just to set up a Python web server. So I'll do uh, Python simple HTTP server, and I'll tell it to listen on port 8000 because I'm relatively certain I don't have anything else listening there that this would conflict with. Oh, it's Python. We have to pass it the hyphen M for module. Okay, and so there we have a simple HTTP server listening on port 8000 in temp web. And the last thing we'll do in this video is we're going to go to our Windows 7 attacker machine. And so here I have a Windows 7 machine. You can see on the top it says Windows 7 attacker. That's how we'll identify this. I'll pause the video while this logs in. Looks like I don't have to, maybe. And this is an old version of Windows. I would probably not feel very comfortable browsing uh, 
around the internet with this particular browser. But for now, I can go to uh, HTTP 192.168.14.86, which is our parrot box, on port 8000. And you can see that we have our launcher.dll here. So I'm just going to save that inside of downloads. on our attacker box. Okay, so if you've uh, downloaded that launcher.dll to your attacker box, uh, in the next video we'll go ahead and we'll get Fuzzbunch set up here. And uh, you should have another box set up as well. So I've also got, I also have a virtual machine here that I've uh, labeled target. This is going to be our victim machine will be compromising from point A to point B and then executing commands from Kali. Um, just for, you know, this is testing, so we're not concerned about setting up a super secure environment. Um, on each machine, let's go ahead and just uh, kill the firewall. And I'm pretty sure I'm on, well, I'll just kill them all. So just go ahead and make sure that the firewall is turned off on both machines and that'll help guarantee success here as we work through this uh, this process so at this point I've now disabled the firewall on my attacker machine and my victim machine in the next video then we'll go ahead and we'll set up uh, fuzzbunch